people are dying already. Right. It is. We're almost done. They just be screaming for no reason. We got like half an hour left. You guys, they're they're practicing inside right now. We can, we can hear, hear the music them right now. Somewhere in there. We're, we're gonna be in there. There's so many people. There is. And it's so unorganized. Yes. So. this vlog for a little while but <laughs> it's been a long couple of days yeah by the time this video comes out it'll probably be more than a couple of days but just know that at the time we're filming the rest of this our little recap whatever thing uh, it's been a couple days yes and it's been a very long couple of days yeah you, you wouldn't expect it from an EXO concert, I guess, if you've never been to it. But holy shit, be prepared to have a few days of recovery. Yeah, I got sick. She got, like, really sick. And, and yeah, it took me, we would have filmed this sooner, but it literally took me a few days to recover. Um, today, I'm finally recovered enough to function again. The rest of the girls that we went with, like, literally slept entire days at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I think when I got home, uh, when I was finally dropped off, I went to bed and I woke up at 10 for work. And then after work, I went to bed at like 4.30. And I didn't wake up until like the next day for work. It was <laughs> crazy. And my, oh my God, it hurt, it hurt all over. Yeah. I fucking rocked out way too much apparently. Everything was sore, and I have bruises where I shouldn't. It, it was pretty intense. It's so intense. But we met a lot of cool people waiting in line. Yeah. I know I feel I've made a few new friendships. I don't know any other names or no. Nope. Really, well, have no way to contact. No way again. to contact. So, but if you do happen to see this, we thought you were cool. Yeah, you know who you are. You know who you are. Um. So that just goes to show that not like all XOLs were crazy, although we did... There were a few crazy people in the pit. Like, holy crap. I ended up losing her and Faith at some yeah. point. Um, and yeah, when she lost us, we, Faith and I, just decided that it was, there was too much pushing, too many people were clawing each other, and we got the f*** out. So, we stood on the back on the opposite side of Rachel. Yeah, I, I don't even know where I ended up. I just know I ended up, there was literally only a couple people in front of me. So, that was pretty awesome. Um, I got, like, I got pretty darn close. She did. A lot closer than us. Which yeah. I'm okay with. Um, I was still pretty damn close to those guys. <laughs> and I was close enough to see their faces, I'm okay with that. It was so great. <laughs> For anyone who has yet to go to an EXO concert, or if you ever plan on going to an EXO concert in the future, do, unless you can be like, you're one of the first people to enter, screw it. Do not try and you're, you're on a suicide mission yeah. at that point. Do like they did and just go to the back because that, that is some dangerous stuff up there. These girls do not joke around. No. Even before the damn thing started, there was a few girls behind us who actually started pushing already. And I just thought, no. 
It, it was it was bad. Yeah. I'm used to dealing with like people pushing and like mosh pits and stuff like that. Um, but this wasn't, at least to them, people, you know, they go there to push and then to pick people up when they fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. every, you know, I've been, I actually haven't... Pick you up, throw you right back in. Exactly. These girls, they knock you down the step on you. Not yeah. even about that. Yeah, you could get trampled quite easily. Before the show even started, the people were already going crazy and it was just, ugh. Those, like, those fans were the ones that bugged me. But then again, there were a lot of fans that were really cool, even inside the venue when um, I was just fucking having a great time with Faith, rocking out and shit. There were fans who were like, we're joining us, and it was just one big party. That was awesome. Like, I get it because it's EXO and everything, but... There's a time and a place, you guys. Yeah. I mean, we're all excited, but XOLs, like... Calm your shit. Yeah. <laughs> Consider like, cause, cause we can compare this to Block B, mm -hmm. and there is a huge difference. Oh yeah. Um, uh, BBCs aren't nearly no. as nuts. BBCs, you're pretty cool. Um. So other than that, for the pit, if you're gonna try and brave the pit, Good rest luck. in peace. Yeah. <laughs> like the, All I can say is make sure you are. So hydrated because like oh yeah the the thirst was real. Not only was it hot and sweaty, though it you know naturally makes you thirsty, but seeing the guys, you guys know you <laughs> know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you look at pictures and your mouth gets dry. So imagine seeing them in person. It's a lot worse. <laughs> That's the truth. You know it. Anyways, I ain't ashamed. I. What? I said, I ain't ashamed. I was purely talking about the fact that, like, yeah, you were okay. literally... There There were people who did get injured um, in the pit, and there were people who faint or were about to faint as well. Yeah. Um, especially where I was at, like, the security guards were passing out water bottles left and right to keep people from fainting because it was so hot. There is no room to breathe. I know at one point I felt like I couldn't breathe mm -hmm. just because there were so many people in such a tight space. I'm pretty sure my hair got damp from other people's sweat. Ugh. Yeah, that's disgusting. That's gross. That's so gross. Yeah, I put my hair up quite quickly. I was like, <laughs> this shit. I don't want no other girl's pit sweat on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that way. You're right. That's why we got the out of that. Uh uh. During um, the first talk segment, I felt people, because that's when we left or when we got separated, like the girls around me were like wearing tank tops and whatnot. I could feel their sweat on my arm, and that was so gross. Even being a dancer, I don't like to touch other dancers' sweat. That's not my thing. Yeah, I I agree. It's, it's just horrible. Time and <laughs> there's just, a time and a place, you guys. <laughs> there's a time and a place to feel other people sweat. But, and, yeah. and the concert is not it. No. But no, the concert was the concert itself. Holy shit. Yeah, I mean I feel bad because it it seemed like EXO had to take more time than usual to get people to step back yeah because people were getting like way too crowded um Sean Yul even said at one point like hey there's a bunch of room back there like let's step back so that we can all have a good time if you guys don't step back like we're, we're gonna get out of here yeah that was yeah I feel like the concert was cut short uh, but I don't know if that's because of the way the fans were acting or because of the whole issue with my music taste and the whole order numbered oh, entry yeah. for GA, um, that was a complete mess. Like that, oh, that whole thing was absolutely horrible. I mean, at first it was first come first serve and then it was numbered and then it was first come first serve again and then we went back to numbers and then as we were waiting there, no one told us to line up with uh, according to our numbers. But then people behind us were saying, oh yeah, you know, whatever number's marked on your hand, you have to go line up. And we're like, no one told us that. They just told us to get in line. And, you know, and then people were started passing us, going to the front, and we're just confused as It was literally all over the place. It was like one giant cluster My so music could have done that better. Not only that, but they didn't even have any staff there to help us out. And you know, no one in line is gonna listen to each other to take a step back. 
we all want to take a step forward. So my music taste could have done that better. They needed more staff out there to help us. My music taste said that it was by ticket number and that never changed. But everyone seemed to hear different things from people who were actually working at the venue and who were supposed to be handling, you know, tickets and stuff like that. So at some point, no one knew what to believe and in the end, in the end, it didn't even matter. This is what made me mad. Like, we tried so hard to like order ourselves because my music taste was like, if you guys don't, um, you know, do it by your number, then, and you don't do it yourselves, then we're not gonna let you in. And so we're trying, and like an hour after the doors open, we're still trying. And, um, and then my music taste is just like, ah, screw it, just go right on in. So now, like, better. when we would have been like, you know, uh, we the were person yeah. in our row, we're, we're now like, 350. That is the most ridiculous part because we were up there and you know, no one said, oh, well, guess what? You're at a, you know, SOL. Uh, yeah, that would have been nice. But no, my music taste had to pull that bullshit and we were, yeah, like 300 people back, which. It just would have been nice if everyone was on the same page yes. from the beginning. It should have been a lot more organized. We were there six hours waiting, okay? And then, you know, I... We were only actually waiting for two hours. Hey. We, okay. We were there for six hours. I am on Our a car rant. was there for six I am hours. on a rant right now. Do you want to? I am all fired up. Do you <laughs> want me? Go do on. you really want me to? It does you know what? It doesn't even matter. This shit. Oh, oh, okay. I need a breather. Hold on. It's okay. I saw XO. There's no need to work myself back up over the disorganized line that in the end, it doesn't even matter. Um, okay, now let's move on. Let's go to a different part. So, <laughs> other than that, um, like I said, the concert was amazing. Oh yeah, they're like, but I never been to a concert like that before. I mean, at first it was, you know, these guys singing and dancing. Why are you laughing? I'm finally <laughs> engaging. I know because I think this is the first time you've ever talked this much in a video. <laughs> I might. Oh my God, you're completely right. For the first time, it's not you saying everything. I have my own opinion, you guys. Holy shit. It does have a brain. <laughs> I've never been to a concert where they have danced and seen and sounded and looked amazing. It, it blew my mind, the performance level of, of um, the concert, which is something I'm always looking at, being a performer myself. Um, I, I'm always looking out for mistakes and whatnot. So to watch EXO live and just see how in sync they were to each other is really, really cool. Black Bee was a little bit different, um, just as a side note. Yeah. Black Bee was a little bit different because Black Bee is more um, focused. I mean, well, they're not, their main thing isn't dancing. So the focus is meant to be elsewhere. Yeah. Um, that's why we're not taking into account Block B because that's a different, they're different. Anyways, my only complaint, and this has nothing to do with the concert, but um, EXO looked really tired. Yeah, they like, seemed really tired. I felt so bad for them because you could easily tell who got sleep the last night and who didn't. Um, and it seems like the majority of them didn't get sleep. Yeah. And I feel really bad. They, they tried their hardest though. I will give them props because they tried their hardest. Bekion had a sore throat or, um, he said his throat was in, in good condition. Um, but he, he got still those high tried. Notes. Yeah, yeah, he got those high notes. I was very impressed. Even with him feeling sick and whatnot. And can I just say that I don't, all of you people who say that EXO isn't handsome in person. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. 
Sehun, no, not Sehun. Well, Sehun too. Suho. Um, I. People say that he's one of those that looks a lot better in person, and I fully agree with that. Um, he was probably one of the most handsome there for me. Him and Jumin, um, probably stood out the most out of looks for me, seeing them live. What about I you? think they were all just really handsome in person. Like, a lot more handsome in person than they ever were in pictures. Mm -hmm. um, and that's saying a lot. Because I, I was just surprised. Baby Don't Cry was a really good dance. Um, I got a bit to where I was standing. I didn't, was able to see a lot of Kai or Sehun. Um, but what I did see was really good. I didn't realize just how well the dancer Kai was until I saw that. Like we knew he was good, but yeah. seeing him in live, like in person. His live persona when he's dancing or in his, his uh, stage performance when he's dancing by himself, it's, it's no joke. It's something, it's, that's goals right there as a dancer. It's completely different seeing these performances live than seeing them through a TV. Like, yeah completely different not just because of the atmosphere but like you really get a feel for just how talented these guys are and, and it was like all live you could hear that it was 100% live um Sehun sang a lot more than and he got a lot more parts than uh he ever actually gets on recordings mm -hmm. um so that was nice to hear you yeah. actually do stuff they're, they're awesome. I mean, their dancing skills were top notch. Their s stage personas were, yep. Goals. Goals. But I'm definitely excited to see EXO again. Oh, definitely. 10 out of 10 would watch again. Would watch again, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 would not fight EXO else. No. <laughs> no. 10 out of 10, uh, yeah. XOLs can just do their thing. I'm gonna be in the back doing my own thing, having a great time. Right. Which is what I did, so whatever. It worked. I got. I felt like I was gonna suffocate. Poor thing. Tell you, you know what? I got good enough videos and pictures on my phone. I'm good. I didn't need to be right up against the bar. I was close enough. And I made eye contact with one of them, so it was cool. Also, you need to give some more love to Chen and Suho. Like. He got a lot of screams though at the concert. I mean, I well, me and Faith were screaming for him. Well, a lot. yeah, but that doesn't mean that he got a lot. Oh. I could noticeably tell a difference. Oh. Like I could easily tell a difference, and that's not cool. Suho does not get enough credit, and neither does Chen. Yeah, I was so sad as he was talking to the fans. He like looked over at his uh, uh, the other guys on there. He's like, no one's listening to me, and I'm like, I'm listening. Hello. Hello. Well, once Disney. again, that was because no one could hear him. That's true. Like, from where I was at, like, two people were in front of me, and then there was the stage. Well, there was security guards, and then there was the right? stage. <laughs> the <laughs> ultimate barrier, the security guards. But still, I had people right next to me, like, what What did he say? What, what did he say? And there was even still, like, some things that we missed. Mm -hmm. So that's not actually, like, he talks really quietly. He does. And since he was talking in English, even though people tried to like listen, everyone was so hyped, like it was really hard to hear him. Um, Chanyol talks very loudly. He, he was quite easy to understand. Yeah. When people weren't screaming to John about. Yeah. But, but Suho, it's not that we weren't listening to you, it's that you were really hard to hear. Your next show is Talk Louder, bro. Yeah. All right, so to wrap this up, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also find us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all which can be found right around somewhere. And make sure you check out our other videos. We, she's gonna put a link here. And we have some surprises up for the future. <gasps> with some maybe other K-pop groups, what? Maybe some Japanese groups, what? So stay tuned for that, it's gonna be super cool. Woo-woo. Okay, bye. bye.